Well, the, the first thing, of course, is considering the horse. Okay, and in considering the horse, there's two main in, uh, contrasts that you have to understand. The first is um, breed versus type, okay, and conformation versus condition. So at a certain point, the skeletal structure of a horse is fixed, that's its conformation. That's really not gonna change much over time. It's all of the muscle that covers the skeleton that changes over time due to age, performance, illness, seasonal changes. Um, and that's what we record in the wither tracings is the conditional changes of the horse. Some horses can vary greatly, other horses not so much. So the first thing we look at is how the horse's body has changed and how the saddle is therefore affected by it. And of course the breed versus type. Um, just because you have a quarter horse doesn't mean that a specific saddle is going to fit it. Um, you have to look at the specific body type of that horse and then proceed. Um, you don't fit a saddle because of its breed, you fit it because of its body type. So very quickly, the placement of the saddle deals with where is the tree of the saddle placed in the horse's back in relationship to the back edge of the shoulder blade. Sounds like a mouthful, but in essence what it means is we want to make sure that the solid internal framework of the saddle is not impeding the shoulder in any way. So generally speaking, you need to find the back edge of the shoulder blade and place your saddle about two fingers behind the back edge of the shoulder blade to ensure that the tree is not going to restrict the backward rotation of the shoulder blade. It's very important. So very often when I, when I go out to do a saddle fitting, I will have the client put their saddle on and not myself because if placement is the issue that's causing the saddle not to fit and I put it on in the proper place, I'm going to miss that aspect of what's going on. Um, the tree fit has three criteria, pommel clearance, angle of the tree point and the pressure of the tree point. All these things have to work in conjunction with each other in order for the tree to fit correctly. So most people gauge their saddles fit by saying, oh, I've got plenty of clearance between the pommel and the horse's withers. That's not the end all be all of making sure that the saddle fits correctly. The tree, that whatever the angle of the tree point is, has to be parallel to the horse's wither shape, it has to be compatible in angle. Um, it's, it's a misnomer to say that, well, my horse has big shoulders and I have a lot of trouble fitting saddles. You may have trouble fitting saddles for a different reason, but we don't fit saddles to horse's shoulders, we fit them to the withers of the horse. So that's a very important distinction to make. And of course, when you have the tree point being parallel to the horse's wither angle, you're gonna have even pressure, even weight bearing down the entire length of that tree point. Panel coverage, making sure that the panel um, adequately and uh, makes contact with the back um, from the spine down the rib cage and from the shoulder back edge of the shoulder blade to the last rib. We have to make sure that all the, those angles match. And of course, we don't want the seat to go longer than the last rib. Once we move off the last rib, the bone of the rib cage can no longer support the rider's weight. So it's the long muscle of the back plus the bone of the rib cage that supports the rider's weight on the horse's back. And of course, we wanna make sure that the saddle is balanced to put the rider in the best possible um, position to help guide and influence the horse through the use of aids. So those are the basic points of saddle fit that everybody needs to keep in mind.